tears, regret, and shame. These expressions summarize the countenance of the four convicts, Samson Agalo, Elvis Ojiowe, Jeff Omasa, and Yusuf Yakubu. The four men kidnapped two Canadian girls, Lauren Patricia Catherine Tilly and Bailey Jordan Chili, in an uncompleted building in Kumase and demanded a ransom of $800,000 from the families of the victims on 4th June 2019. Reading the close to three hour judgment, presiding judge Lydia Ose Mafo noted that the horrific crime which threw the country into a state of despair must not be allowed to mar Ghana's international relations. She apologized to the victims and families who joined the hearing via a video link on behalf of Ghana for the traumatic experience they went through. Lawyer for the convicts, Yao Dankwa, said he's surprised about the U-turn of his client. This person tells me, confines in me, now listen, I did it, then it is my job to advise him to plead guilty in order for us to get, you know, have a mitigation and have a reduced sentence. But if a accused person tells you, I didn't do it, even if you think the evidence are very uh, scanty and flimsy, you still have to go with what they've given you. But, you know, I take instructions from the accused persons. And if they are told me earlier that they did it and they committed the offense, I would advise them to change their plea, let us plead guilty, and then we can uh, mitigate in court for uh, a reduction in sentence. Per the brief fact of the case, Agalo Ojiowe Omasa are Nigerian nationals, while Yakubu is Ghanaian. On the charge of conspiracy, the four were sentenced to nine years each. While for the charge of kidnapping, they were sentenced to ten years each in prison in hard labor. The sentences are to run concurrently. Lord Edward, sorry. TV3 News, Accra High Court.